An entrepreneur is someone who engineers a way to solve a problem. Now, there's people that think that they're entrepreneurs, but they're really not. If you're in the machine, running the machine, you're not an entrepreneur. You're self-employed. Yeah, you gave yourself a job, and that's fine to do for a little bit of time. The rule of entrepreneurship is learn it, do it, delegate it. Yep. Yes, exactly. Okay? Yep. The big change for me was I went from a, a business model where you get paid per project mm -hmm. and you could have three projects in a month or you could have zero. Yeah. Right. It's kind of like real estate. Yeah. To a model of recurring revenue. Yeah. And when you start getting recurring revenue, it changes. It, you never want to go back. Yeah. Because you, you, it's steady. You could rely on it. You know it's coming in. And now the name of the game is adding to it. That's it just becomes the name of the game. It's like rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. So it's a um, game changer for me entrepreneurially. Um, and, uh, you know, now I'll, I'll, I'll never do any other type of business other than a recurring revenue business. It's that it's that nice, just yeah, knowing, knowing that you could budget out and not have to worry about, oh, where's the next paycheck going to be? By? It's so but. awesome. I always tell all my friends if they're going to start a business or do anything, I'm like, where is the recurring revenue model in that business? Mm -hmm. And do that. Yeah. Like structure your whole business around mm -hmm. monthly billing. So and, and what you do now is you try to help individuals who run businesses uh, find the virtual assistant yeah near sure yeah, build their team every company is a machine mm -hmm. an entrepreneur is someone who um, engineers a way to solve a problem mm -hmm. and now there's people that think that they're entrepreneurs but they're really not yeah that they think that they're like they're, if, if you're not, if you're in the machine, running the machine, yeah. you're not an entrepreneur. You're self-employed. Your job. You yeah, have a you, job. Yeah, you gave yourself a job. You're self-employed. That's it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and that's fine to do for a little bit of time. For sure. Because you're going to have to either at yeah. one point or another. Yeah, you got to. You got to, the rule of entrepreneurship is learn it, do it, delegate it. Yep. Yes, exactly. Okay? Yeah, now, the learn it, do it, how long? How long are you going to give yourself? Yeah. Give yourself a time limit. Is it a year? Is it two years? What's it going to take for you to really understand and know the patterns? Yeah. Because everything's cyclical. So an, a business is, is going to go through a cycle, and every January, it's probably going to look the same. right? Think of a tax, tax season. season right? Think of a school. Mm -hmm. It's August. Same thing over and over. Nightclubs in Miami, hospitality, hotels, they all know it. Yeah. March is coming. It's spring break. Spring break. So yeah. when you when you have this kind of, of opportunity in a business to be cyclical, you as an entrepreneur need to learn that cycle. Yeah. And once you know a couple of years of that cycle, you can truly start to let go. And how do you let go? Though, who's gonna do the work? Yeah, you have to find the guy to replace you. The work you still needs find to get, it. it still needs to get done. And then you have to train them to do the job the way you want it done. You need to train them correctly. Correct. And you, there, that's a whole nother yeah. uh, crazy part there, you know, the training. That's where I, that's where we specialized in having to create that training. Because mm -hmm. if, if that virtual assistant doesn't get trained properly, then they're not efficient, then they're gonna get fired. And if they get fired, I get fired. Yep. And yep. we don't want that happen. So I had to come in and create all the potential, like patch in all the places where this thing can go wrong. Mm -hmm. I can, I had to patch all that together. And now with ChatGPT, it's just like super simple because ChatGPT can come up with an entire weeks of worth of work mm -hmm. with the SOPs, with the training manuals, everything. Um, so, so that's been awesome there. But um, entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. if you really want to be a true entrepreneur, it's about learning, doing and delegating. That last part, the delegating part, is the hardest part. And that's where I specialize. Yeah. Because I got to help you figure out how to get out of your way so other people can come in and do the work that you already figured out so that you can be free to not go to Disney, not go on a cruise, be free 
to figure out the next big solution yeah. for your customers. You can't do that while you're... You can uncover problems while you're in the machine. It's true. You can. But there's bigger things happening in a macrocosm mm -hmm. that you can't figure out if you're in the machine. Yeah. At some point, you're going to have solved at least 90% of the problem. Get out and start to see other opportunities. That's where you start to then get out and network, get out and be involved in masterminds so that you can look at your machine and possibly disassemble, assemble, add another component. Yeah. You know, this is this becomes this uh, like a living organism of sorts. Yeah, you're building this Lego, mm -hmm. right? Thing that's operating. It's going to be changing, and it's um, it's supposed to be producing cash for you. Mm -hmm. so yeah, the way you look at it is just a printing machine, a money printing machine. If you look at entrepreneurship and business ownership as money printing machine, um, it's a it's a awesome mindset shift. Mm -hmm. Because uh, now you start to look at it less uh, personally and more objectively as the thing that's going to get me to where I want to be.